take the points with Texas Tech in their Big 12 game against Texas A&M. Tony T here from Gamblers Television, where we cover sports from a point spread perspective. That's right, Point Spread Talk has returned to TV, so be sure and tell all your friends about our show because we know you guys like to get down on college basketball. And we have you covered right here on Tony T Sports Bets on GamblersTelevision.com. Our TV show page at www.GamblersTelevision.com is updated once, sometimes even twice a day with point spread coverage from the major sports and big tips from college basketball. So you guys, you make sure you check it out daily. All right, now it's time for our coverage. It's Big 12 action, Texas Tech at Texas A&M. Texas A&M, an eight-point home favorite. Eight o'clock Eastern time, ESPN pay-per-view to televise. You know, two consecutive home losses have Texas A&M coach Mark Turgeon really searching for answers about his team. The Aggies dropped the home game to Oklahoma State and then to Nebraska as the Cornhuskers shot 59% from the field. You know, the loss to Nebraska was really a huge disappointment for the Aggie coach because Texas A&M was sitting at 6-5 and five in conference going into, into this game and the loss dropped into 6-6. Six and six. The Aggies must close the conference season winning three of their last four conference games to finish over 500 to avoid bubble status. No Big 12 team has ever made the NCAA tourney with a 500 or less winning percentage in conference. Right now, the Aggies lack confidence and defensive intensity as Turgeon was furious over the five layups the Cornhuskers were able to convert on the Aggies' home court. A troubling stat were the points in the paint against Nebraska as the Aggies had a significant height advantage and got outscored 20-14 to in the paint. Texas Tech sits at 6-6 in conference and like the Aggies must win three of their last four games in conference to have a winning mark in the Big 12. After losing a really heartbreaking loss on their home court to Oklahoma and a last second desperation shot, the Red Raiders have won two straight, including a road win at Colorado. Guard Alan Vosco has put together back-to-back -to -back games over 20 points or more from the field, and his backcourt mate Martin Zeno is coming off a 23-point and zero turnover effort against Iowa State. Coach Pat Knight likes his team right now, and they're playing with confidence. Texas Tech will be competitive here, and they're the right side taking the eight. Play Texas Tech plus eight. Be sure to visit and bookmark my TV show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous point spread coverage from the NBA and college basketball. Gamblers Television, get addicted.